Hello there. Just a quick little update video to showcase some of the features we've been working on this week. We have a working difficulty system now, so if I go into normal, you will see that it loads was seen with one enemy. If I restart the game, there, there we go. So if I restart the game and I select the diff different uh, the, the difficulty, it loads another scene with three enemies. So the plan is here to make separate scenes for each difficulty, so we can load a scene with different enemy placement or different enemy stats. So you can very easily just assign a, a different level for every difficulty. So hopefully that's going to save us some time we don't have to program specific enemy behavior for any, for every different difficulty setting or anything it's just a different scene but so to the interesting stuff we now have working combat for the player he has three light moves that he can do in quick succession if i can get an opportunity to pull the shoot to show them all off there we go And the way this works is I have a, a, a trigger collider that follows the rough outline of the chain whip as it moves with the animation. So whenever that collides with the enemy, it registers as a hit. And the, they're ganging up on me. There we go. And then it, gets, it explodes in computer parts that you can use for currency later in the shop that's going to be developed. So if I can just knock this enemy... There we go. Uh, I have the basics of a rolling system in place as well, which looks like this. Currently, there's no animation to it. But if I press Shift, e, the character gets invisible for a couple of frames and he moves quickly forward and I plan on implementing a rolling animation for that. And so for the rolling as well I have a, as you can see by the green bar up here in the corner, I have a stamina system in place. So the, the rolling is not currently bound to use any stamina but later on it's going to use about a quarter or a third of your stamina so you really have to be tactical on when you want to roll to avoid the enemy attacks gonna be like a dodging move so that is it really I really like how this turned out because you can only change direction in between attacks and it freezes your location as well and if you attack while moving you get a little push forward so that you can hopefully stun lock enemies even though they get knocked back uh, and as of Today I've also been working a bit on the... I've started working on the gun animation, which is the secondary weapon that the hero is going to use, uh, apart from his trusty chain whip. Uh, it's going to be... So as you can see here, basically the animation is he pulls out his gun, blasts off, and then does massive recoil, and the screen is going to shake all over, and it's going to be really really inefficient from from like a firing range perspective but but it's gonna feel awesome and it's gonna look awesome hopefully we'll, we'll see how it turns out uh, but it's the it's the embryo of a firing animation and I, I'm sort of liking how it turns out so far so for next week I'm hopefully gonna be doing more of this finishing up the the gun animation and also what am I gonna do next week oh yeah, yeah. hopefully we're gonna design a new enemy and, imp and fully implement it so the, the thought the, the thought we ha what we're currently thinking is uh, apart from the standard assassin type enemy we already have we want to have a, a riot police or a riot police robot with, with a shield that's gonna so that's going to soak up all the damage. He's going to be really tough enemy type. And so he's going to aid the lighter assassin types by just being present and uh, and 
taunting the player and soaking up all the damage while the assassin types do all the, the main damage to the player. And so to defeat this heavy robot cop, you'll have to do either heavy attacks or you'll have to, to uh, jump around them and attack them from behind or some other weak point. Uh, and as apart from that, we, hopefully we're going to start discussing what the first boss is going to be like. So for the first alpha, hopefully we're going to have time to implement a, a boss battle. So we have we have a couple of ideas, but mostly it's going to come down to looking at old Nintendo and Super Nintendo side scrollers and see if we can find the boss design that's fairly quick to implement and that demonstrates most of the features that we want to showcase with the game. So that is it for this week. I'm not going to show any fun picture or anything right now. I'm just going to leave you there and stay tuned. We will be getting a whole lot of stuff done by now because we're really pressing ourselves with this deadline. So be sure to check back. I will upload again next week. So thank you for watching and see you.